We're in beautiful downtown Garibaldi, where the Oregon Coast Scenic Railroad starts and ends its day. Most all our trips are from Garibaldi to Rockaway Beach, except in the spring and the fall, where we also do splinter trips from Wheeler up into the mountains back that way. My name's Dennis Murphy. I'm the engineer today. I'm the one that makes the locomotive go and slow down. A little earlier when we had the locomotive inside the shop, we were talking about what killed the steam locomotive. In particular, it's because these locomotives, these steam locomotives are, in my humble opinion, almost what you consider a living thing. It breathes, it makes noise, it has a definite personality. What were you saying about her this morning? A little cranky? She was being cranky. A little cranky this morning. I was fireman last week and she was a terrible beast. And other times it's like, it's easy. We were discussing a little bit about the difference between a diesel locomotive, which basically you get in and turn on like a truck and drive it like a truck, and a steam locomotive, well, you have to, you have to be gentle with them. You have to be involved with them. It's kind of like a first date. You got to put on your best foot forward to get it to do what you want it to do. My name is Timothy Parks. I'm a volunteer here at the Oregon Coast Scenic Railroad. I am today's fireman on the McLeod 25. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm the one creating the steam, making the fire, and uh, working on the locomotive today. First thing we're going to check is we're going to check our pressure gauge, make sure we got pressure. And our water glasses, make sure we got water. Water is the most important thing on a steam locomotive. Next, what I want to do is I want to open up the firebox here. This is where our fire is going to burn, is inside of here with the uh, atomized oil. What I like to do is I come in here and I check all the boiler flues, make sure we don't have any leaking flues or any broken bolts or anything like that. If there were, you'd be able to tell. It's trying, it really wants to, it's trying to. So this morning she was being a little cranky and as he said, these are in my opinion, my humble opinion, the uh, closest that mankind has ever come to creating a mechanical life form. How it fired this morning could be completely different from how it fires tomorrow. Now we got a fire going. and the engineer what I am, we have to play together well. If I'm heavy handed with the throttle, his steam suffers. If he doesn't keep the steam at a consistent level, I have to mess with the throttle all the time. And the difference between firing and driving, I think of driving more as a technical skill. Firing is much more as a art form because you're having to deal with multiple different aspects. You have to deal with obviously the fire, the water level, the boiler pressure, and you have to throw in on his side, he does the bell, I do the whistle. So it's kind of a little choreographed dance between the two of us to make it work. Where the diesel, yeah, you're driving a truck is what you're basically doing. Now if any of you folks are at all interested in steam or trains or learning about railroads, you need to come out here and join us. We're an all-volunteer operation. Hi, my name is Matt Musgrave. Uh, I'm a volunteer with Oregon Coast Scenic Railroad. Um, I'm the conductor for the day. And if you want to learn trains and steam and stuff like that, there's no better place. Our volunteers are from all over the place. I live in Olympia, Washington. I'm a ship captain by trade. Tim lives, where do you live, Tim? 
in Bend. In Bend. He comes all the way over from Bend. Uh, we have another couple that just showed up yesterday that live in Northern California. We have two folks from Portland that drive out here to work with us. And you can work a couple days, a couple weeks, a couple of months during the summer and be here as much or as little as you'd like to be. Okay, now most importantly, everybody's favorite part about a steam locomotive, this is your steam whistle. Thank <laughs> you. 